Scientech Presence, Semtel's Technology Learning Software, Robotics. Robotics is the branch of technology that deals with the design, construction, operation and application of robots and computer systems for their control sensory feedback and information processing. Now, we will study about actuator. The actuator part of the robot is made by the use of motors. Basically there are three types of motor, which is mostly used in robotics, that are, DC motor, stepper motor and servo motor. First, we are going to learn about DC motor. DC motors convert electrical energy to mechanical energy. They run on direct current. Now, construction of brushed DC motor. The brushed DC electric motor generates torque directly from DC power supplied to the motor by using internal commutation, stationary magnets and rotating electrical magnets. Now, we see detailed description of all the parts of DC motor. First is axle. Axle is a rotor part of a brushed DC motor. When sufficient voltage and current apply to motor, Axle rotates in clockwise or anti-clockwise direction. Now, the coil. It is mounted on an axle and it is placed between the cylindrical concave poles of a magnet. Next is rectangular coil. It is made of insulated copper wire, which is wound on a soft iron core. The armature becomes an electromagnet when a current passes through it. This is commutator, it is used to reverse the direction of flow of current. Commutator is a copper ring, split into two parts, C1 and C2. Next is two small strips of carbon, known as brushes. Press slightly against the two split rings and the split rings rotate between the brushes. The carbon brushes are connected to a DC source. Now, DC motor requires two magnets of opposite polarity and an electric coil, which acts as an electromagnet. The repellent and attractive electromagnetic forces of the magnets provide the torque that causes the DC motor to turn. This is an outer body part of a brushed DC motor, known as cover or casing. DC motor has two terminals, that are positive and negative, sufficient voltage and current are applied to these terminals, to drive a DC motor. Next is working of brushed DC motor. When positive terminal of motor is connected with positive terminal of battery, and negative terminal of motor is connected with negative terminal of battery, then motor rotates in clockwise direction, as we see in animation. Now, when positive terminal of motor is connected with negative terminal of battery, and negative terminal of motor is connected with positive terminal of battery, then motor rotates in anti-clockwise direction, as we see in animation. Now, let's see principles of DC motor. The DC motor works on the principle of Lorentz force, which states that, when a wire carrying current is placed in a region having magnetic field, then the wire experiences a force. This Lorentz force provides a torque to the coil to rotate. DC motor has a copper wire, because it is a good conductor of electricity and it is in rectangular shape. Here, as we see, 
horseshoe magnet produces magnetic field from north to south. Here, split ring acts as a commutator, it reverses the direction of flow of current through a circuit. Brushes P and Q are used to make alternate contacts with the split rings X and Y. Battery is the source of power, which provides electric energy. Direction of the current through the circuit, is shown in animation. Direction of magnetic field is from north to south pole, which is also shown in animation. A force works on current carrying conductor, when it is placed in a magnetic field, its direction is given by Fleming's left hand rule. The forces acting on AB, pushes it upwards, while the forces acting on CD, pushes it downwards. When we reverse the direction of flow of current from DCBA, then coil will rotate anti-clockwise. By this principle, DC motor rotates in both clockwise and anti-clockwise direction. Here we see the construction of gear DC motor. A gear DC motor has a gear assembly, attached to the motor. The speed of motor is counted in terms of rotations of the shaft per minute. And is termed as RPM. Next is brushless DC motor. A brushless DC motor is a synchronous electric motor, powered by a direct current. As the name implies, the brushless DC motor does not operate using brushes. Rather it operates with a controller via electronic commutation. Typical brushless DC motors uses a rotating permanent magnet in the rotor, and stationary electrical current or coil magnets on the motor. Housing for the rotor. First let's understand, what is stepper motor? Stepper motor or step motor is a brushless or synchronous motor, which divides a full rotation into a number of steps. A stepper motor rotates in discrete step angles, such as 30, 15, 5, 2.5, 2 and 1.8. By construction, the step motors come into three broad classes, that is, permanent magnet stepper, variable reluctance stepper and hybrid stepper motor. First, we will start with construction of permanent magnet stepper motor. A permanent magnet stepper motor consists of a stator with windings and a rotor with permanent magnet poles. Next we see working of permanent magnet stepper motor. Here the rotor and stator poles of a permanent magnet stepper, are not teethed, instead, the rotor have alternative north and south poles, parallel to the axis of the rotor shaft. Now, when a stator is energized, it develops electromagnetic poles. Here, magnetic rotor aligns along magnetic field of the stator. Other stator is then energized in the sequence. So that rotor moves and aligns itself to new magnetic field. This way, energizing the stators in a fixed sequence, rotates the stepper motor by fixed angles. The resolution of a permanent magnet stepper motor, can be increased by increasing the number of poles in the rotor, increasing the number of phases, and also by increasing the number of coil in phases.
Now let's see. Construction of variable reluctance stepper motor. In variable reluctance stepper motor. The rotor is teethed and made of metal, but it is not permanently magnetized. Now, working of variable reluctance stepper motor. The variable reluctance stepper has a toothed non-magnetic soft iron rotor. When the stator coil is energized, the rotor moves to have a minimum gap between the stator and its teeth. Here, as we see, the teeth of the rotor are designed, so that when they are aligned with one stator, they get misaligned with the next stator. Now, when the next stator is energized, the rotor moves to align its teeth with the next stator. This way, energizing stators in a fixed sequence, completes the rotation of the step motor. As we see in animation, the resolution of a variable reluctance stepper motor, can be increased by increasing the number of teeth in the rotor, by increasing the number of phases, and also, by increasing the number of turns in phase. Next is, construction of hybrid stepper motor. In hybrid stepper motor, rotor has teeth placed on the directional axis. Here, the rotor is divided into parts between constant magnet poles. Now, working of hybrid stepper motor. A hybrid stepper is a combination of both permanent magnet and the variable reluctance. It has a magnetic teethed rotor, which better guides magnetic flux to preferred location in the air gap. As we see in animation, the magnetic rotor has 48 teeth, in which 24 for North Poles and 24 for the South Poles. The rotor teeth are designed, so that the North and South Poles arrange in alternative manner. After studying this, we can see that, the hybrid motor rotates on same principle of energizing the stator coils in a sequence. Here, we see a program, to interface stepper motor with 8051 microcontroller, in wave drive stepping modes. As you can see in program, it is a header file for 8051 microcontroller programming. First, we define the port P2 as output port. Now, defining the main function. Here, while 1 provides infinite loop. Now, sending 0 ax 0 1 to port P2, by this, stepper motor rotates by 1 step. After that, we provide delay. Here, we define our delay function. Now, defining integer i. In this loop the value of i time is 350. So this loop run from the value, 0 to 350. Now, same process is applied, and stepper motor rotates continuously. Another type of motor is servo motor. A servo motor is a rotary actuator that allows for precise control of angular position. It consists of a motor, coupled to a sensor for position feedback, through a reduction gearbox. It also requires a relatively sophisticated controller, often a dedicated module, designed specifically for use with servo motors. 
server motor has three wires, one for positive supply, one for grounding and one for PWM signal. Next, we are going to discuss about construction of server motor. Inside the server motor, there are controlling circuit, DC motor and a potentiometer for position sensing. At the outer part, there are the gear arrangement, by this horn of the server motor is connected.